Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is 21 CFR Part 11, Subpart B, Electronic Records. The purpose of this Part 11 is to set forth the criteria for controlling electronic records electronic signatures, handwritten signatures are trustworthy, reliable, honest, integrate and equivalent to handwritten paper documents. Let us see the requirements in this specific subpart B including sections 11.10 and 11.30. Let us see the prescription under section 11.10 controls for closed systems. The controlled system authorizes only key personnel to access to the system. Their actions are monitored and recorded in an audit trail. A closed system is an environment where system access is controlled by responsible persons and is monitored for integrity of data generated. The integrity of data is checked for compliance as per ALCOA plus and plus plus principles. Integrity of data is checked by audit trail process. Trail means there are series of checks for connections to who, what, when and why of the data. Controlled systems are used to create, modify, maintain or transmit electronic records to ensure the authenticity, integrity and when appropriate the confidentiality of electronic records and to ensure that the signer cannot readily repudiate the signed records as not genuine. Create means first time capture of the authentic real data. Modify means if there is any modifications or any corrections done for any valid and justified reason, maintain and transmit the data to other subsequent steps required for obtaining final output or result. Authenticity and integrity reflect the honesty of the data generated without falsification. Confidentiality of the data must be attributable for the particular designated person who generated the data. In such controls, it is not possible to deny the ownership of the data generated. There are certain conditions to comply to establish these controls of the system. To achieve such status, there are set of conditions set forth in this section 11.10. The conditions include validation of system. This section is most important. Validation of the computer system for expected operation should be carried out in a very detailed fashion including all intricate checks with challenges. Challenges include controls on response of the computer system for any erroneous or illogical entries, sequence of operations, pop-up warning signals for confirmation of data entered, calculation, formulas, etc. Ability to generate accurate and complete copies of records in both human readable and electronic form suitable for inspection, review and copying by the agency. The system design 
should take care of all these requirements. The user requirement specifications, the URS must be detailed enough to capture all operational requirements and expected output. Protection of records to enable their accurate and ready retrieval throughout the records retention period. Data protection throughout the shelf life of the product is necessary as it is a negotiable and obligatory document to submit for review by any regulatory agency. Limiting system access to authorized individuals. This is the confidentiality of the person who enters the data. It is like a pin of ATM debit card. The password should be unique with alphanumeric and with some special characters. These kind of controls limit access to the system to authorized persons only. Use of secure computer generated time stamped audit trails. This is important. Secure means that the data recorded is permanently recorded and there is no way to delete, modify without justification. Time stamping is to establish the contemporaneous recording of the data. So there should not be any authority to modify the time set of the computer system by the operator at the data entry point. Contemporaneous recording is a requirement in the third letter C in Alcoa. Operational system checks to enforce permitted sequencing of steps and events. During the validation exercise, these operational checks should be challenged for accurate operation of the system. Authority checks to ensure that only authorized individuals can use the system. For unauthorized persons, the modification tabs should be deactivated and unavailable for function. Such modifications or deletions should be assigned only to authorized persons. Also, it is necessary to justify for any modifications done to the data captured. Use of device, example terminal, checks to determine as appropriate the validity of the source data input or operational instructions. The, this activity also should be part of the validation scheme. Determination that persons who develop, maintain or use electronic record, electronic signature systems have the education, training and experience to perform their assigned tasks. This is the part of the training of the personnel who are designated to operate the computer systems. The training should be imparted by subject matter experts and should be evaluated with practical hands-on test protocol. The establishment and adherence to written policies that hold individuals accountable and responsible for actions initiated under their electronic signatures in order to deter record and signature falsification. There should be a detailed procedure and policies to address these aspects. Use of appropriate controls over system documentation. Appropriate controls include adequate controls over the distribution of responsibilities, access to authorized personnel, and use of documentation for system operation and proper maintenance. Detailed change control procedures are required for any modifications done. These changes should be audit trailable.
for who, what, when and why of the data. Let us see the prescription for section 11.30, the controls for open systems. Persons who use open systems and controls shall include those identified in section 11.10 as appropriate and additional measures such as document encryption and to use appropriate digital signatures standards to ensure as necessary under the circumstances record authenticity integrity and confidentiality in open system individuals are responsible for the content of electronic records on the system they do not control system access that means that anyone could create a system user account on their own without needing approval or access granted by the system administrator this may look convenient it can also create security risks and make it difficult to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the electronic records encryption means it is the process of making data unreadable using a complex algorithm making it secure and protected from unauthorized access it is used to protect sensitive data in electronic records encrypting documents ensures that only authorized personnel have access to the information digital signatures is a unique password so similar requirements as described under section 11.10 are applicable here also in addition to the above basic requirements i hope the content of section 11.10 and 11.30 is understood well make sure that the validation of computer systems encompasses all the aspects of the requirements as explained in this video thanks for watching for more videos please do subscribe like and share also please leave a comment in message box for any further support. Thank you.